Permanent tattoos have become a growing trend in recent decades, and their influence has left a mark on society. It used to be that prisoners and game members alike were pretty much the only people who had one, with maybe the occasional sailor, soldier, or construction worker to have been seen with these markings. It is now commonplace for many people within urban and city environments to have a tattoo, and has even gotten to the point of being a sign of nonconformity not to have one. Looking past the permanent imprint that is left, there are other effects of tattooing that makes it a wise decision to look at the health effects of this action. Here are some sources and information to consider. In the ink, do all tattoo pigments use mercury and other toxic heavy metals? Published on October 7th, 2011 by Scientific American. It is true that some red inks used for permanent tattoos contain mercury, while other reds may contain different heavy metals like cadmium or iron oxide. These metals, which give the tattoo its permanence in skin, have been known to cause allergic reactions, eczema and scarring, and can also cause sensitivity to mercury from other sources like dental fillings or consuming some fish. While red causes the most problems, most other colors of standard tattoo ink are also derived from heavy metals, including lead, antimony, berlinium, chromium, cobalt nickel, and arsenic, and can cause skin reactions in some people. Helen Sue McIntosh, a professor in environmental health at Harvard, University and a columnist for the website Treehugger reports that as a result of a 2007 lawsuit brought by the American Environmental Safety Institute, two of the leading tattoo ink manufacturers must now place warning labels on their product containers, catalogs, and websites explaining that inks contain many heavy metals, including lead, arsenic, and others, and that the ingredients have been linked to cancer and birth defects. The article also details Tattoos can cause burnings after going through MRI testing due to tests magnetism, and other health problems can be caused from a non-sanitized environment, such as hepatitis B or C, tuberculosis, mycobacterium, syphilis, malaria, HIV, or even leprosy. With that being said, let's move on to the next source. The Price and Pros of Tattoos Published May 10th, 2023 by Davika Rayo of The Week Tattoo ink is especially difficult for the cell enzymes to break down. The reason pigment stays there is because the pigment particles are too big to be eaten by white cells. Dr. Ann Lawman, a dermatology professor at Northwestern University, told Popular Science, Instead of breaking down, the ink is passed from macrophage to macrophage which is why the tattoo becomes fuzzier over time, especially as the skin itself ages and warps. So, not only does it bleed a bit because the pigment moves gradually over time, and so those will tend to be sort of smoky edges, but also the whole line might become a little distorted over the years. Lawman said, basically adds ZME science, 
Your tattoo and your body's immune system are locked in a tug that never stops. The article then details that while a person who has gone through many tattoos might feel a small increase in strength due to the increased antibodies to fight off infection of a new tattoo, these effects are not long term nor drastic. Let's look at one more article. Study uncovers hidden ingredients in 83% of tattoo inks, raising concerns. Published February 28, 2024 by Claire Watson on Science Alert. Testing inks made by global companies and smaller producers the researchers found in their new analysis that 45 of the 54 inks they ran through chemical analysis contained substances that weren't on the label, like unlisted pigments or additives. Some ink labels also listed additives that weren't present. 36 listed glycerol, but it was only detected in 29 of the inks. Only one brand's label accurately listed the ingredients its ink contained. 15 inks contained propylene glycol. The American Contact Dermatitis Society's 2018 Allergen of the Year. While other Tested samples contained potentially harmful or simply strange substances, such as antibiotics. In short, the toxic and harmful effects of tattooing are as permanent and prominent as the ink itself. Not everything that can be said about the negative effects of getting these marks printed on your skin has been addressed here. But even with all of the information that could be attained, at no point could cutting yourself and poisoning your flesh bring any positive health benefits. The damaging effects of tattoos may have been unknown to the rest of the world, but there is one place that has always spoke against it, and that is the Word of God. Leviticus 19 verse 28 Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. It is written in Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Tattooing is not a recent phenomenon that has become trendy within the last 50 years. It is ancient and is a practice that was followed by the heathens of the past. For Christians, Paul rhetorically asks in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? These marks that you have put on your body are nothing more than scars that are laced with poison that in the end is hurting you more than anything. These imprints that you have caused have left permanent marks that will never go away, much like sin. The act of any sin, such as murder, lying, stealing, fornication, sodomy, and so forth, causes permanent separation between God and man, and the wages of sin is death, which results in eternal damnation to whoever is stained by it. However, God doesn't leave a person without hope, as demonstrated in passages like Isaiah 1 verse 18, Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Because God saw that your unrighteousness, evil, and depraved mind was something you had no hope of overcoming or atoning for, 
God was manifest in the flesh to pay for your sins in full with his own death, in which he had resurrected from the grave for all those to believe in him to save their souls. You might not be able to get rid of the marks in your corrupted flesh, but the miracle of God is the removal of the marks of sin to whoever repents and believe in Jesus Christ, as he offers all those that come to him with a fresh start. You're not beyond being saved, so accept Christ as your Savior today.